Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Tuesday, July 28th on 2020. And of course, more news about gratitude this morning. <clears throat> it reads, every year around Thanksgiving, many of us pause and think about all the things that we're thankful for, like food, family, health, and everything positive in our lives. But if you've been paying attention to neuroscience over the past few years, you'll have noticed that thankfulness or gratitude is garnering a, garnering a lot of attention beyond the holiday season. As a powerful instigator of better mental health, more positive brain function, and associated health benefits. What is gratitude? It is the practice of being thankful, literally counting your blessings. Like your grandma always said, both by taking notes of things and being grateful for and expressing that gratitude to others when applicable. To qualify for all of those gratitude-related mental benefits, you have to be prepared to put in regular effort to think about what's awesome in your life. Sounds easy, but it can be challenging, especially if you're growing to dwelling on the negatives as we all are on occasion. That's why studies of gratitude stress is getting your gratitude down in writing, something I talk about an awful lot. That's a gratitude journal, of course. They usually get subjects to keep a gratitude journal where you write down five things each day that you're grateful for. And I recommend writing down a number of things. Some people say three things, five things. In my gratitude journal, there's about a place for seven, eight, ten bullet points or sentences. It can be a narrative. It can be different points you want to remember or what have you. So it makes a big difference. There are even best-selling best selling rather gratitude apps for folks who want to keep a running list of all things that they're grateful for and thankful for. And I've mentioned many times in the past, apps or anything else, thinking about saying it, all that's fine, but there's nothing quite like writing it down to really plan it in your brain. He says, sorry to get all It's a Wonderful Life on you, but the science is pretty solid. Being grateful for the good things in your life, even the tiny ones, and being willing to show it may be a way to train your brain to develop better habits and create a healthier future. It doesn't do all the work for you, but it certainly seems like a good start. With that in mind, they're going to have six mental health ch ch uh, changes, rather, that you can look forward to when you begin practicing gratitude, and we'll talk about them over the next six days. That's the Daily Gratitude News for today. I'm David George Rook, that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.